Welcome to the feature demo for the Screen Connect Custom Toolbox. The Custom Toolbox is new with version 1.8. Uh, most of you will recognize our host client here. Um, most of you will not recognize the new wrench that's up in here in the system area. Um, this is the Custom Toolbox. It's exposed through here and it's exposed through a menu item in the Tools menu. The custom Toolbox will allow you to run any kind of custom application very quickly on the remote machine. This would be a uh, an application that's kind of a simple deployable application from your from your own machine. So the quickest way to get things in the custom toolbox is to take a directory on your machine. Here's a tools directory where I just have a few um, sys internals apps. A lot of people might recognize auto runs. Well, to get that to run on the remote machine, all I need to do is add it to my custom toolbox and go to my custom toolbox and run it. This will transfer it to the other machine and it will immediately run the application. You'll see here I have the remote application running on this very machine. Um, the custom toolbox persists across sessions so you can keep it configured however you want. Um, as I said, the quickest way to get apps up to it is to just drag them from your machine onto your custom toolbox. You can also open the custom toolbox, which shows you, um, it really just browses to your Screen Connect My Documents directory, which is the same area where you send and receive files from. And that's another way to get files to there. Here I can, uh, for example, um, I have a link to computer management, which is one of uh, everybody's favorite shortcuts to system information. I can drag that onto my Screen Connect window. It will appear in my transfer documents folder which also happens to be my toolbox folder and now to run that and this r would run run it on any other machine also I can go to my toolbox and run it and now it's running on the remote machine uh, this as I said it transfers it over to the other machine and it runs it um, the toolbox enumerates everything from your toolbox directory which is right here um, that can be an exe, that can be a link file, that can be a document, it can be a batch file, it can be really anything you want. Um, so it'll just transfer it over to the other machine and run it. The only, uh, the only pitfall there is kind of, uh, as we all know, applications have um, sometimes certain dependencies. Um, those dependencies are uh, can be anything from some DLLs or um, any other image files or configuration files or anything like that. So. I will tell you about uh, one thing that we've found to kind of uh, overcome that to some degree is a tool from Microsoft. Um, it's been really included with almost any version of Windows uh, back to maybe NT4. It's called iExpress and it's a, uh, a self-extraction file creator and I'll run it up here and I'll actually show you how uh, with one of my favorite apps. It's a command line debugger. I'll show you how to build that. Um, so create a new self-extraction directive file. Um, you really just kind of blitz through a lot of these things. Uh, this doesn't matter here because we'll never see it because we don't want to show licenses and prompts. So here is where it gets important. We're uh, specifying our packaged files. So I'll go here and I'll uh, navigate to where I know that is. Uh, it's in Microsoft SDKs, Windows, 6, bin directory, and there's three files. They're um, prefixed with mdbug and we'll select all three of them. Click open, there are three here. Um, this is the program that gets ran after startup, and you can also specify command line parameters. And I'll specify a particular parameter that I know that will uh, list the processes on the machine, which is just one step closer to me being able to get work done. So you can get through all this. Um, this says ask, ask you where you want to save the exe file, and I'll go ahead and just save it directly to my Screen Connect directory, and I'll call it managed debugger and it's the x86 version. There's also a 64-bit version that, uh, that I would need up here also. So I will, uh, I've never had it to prompt me for a restart. You don't really need to save this SED file unless you want to regenerate this. I click Next and it has created the file for me. So now that I click Done, I can go up to my toolbox and here it is. I click on it and it, uh, it it took it over to the other machine, it ran it, it extracted it to a temp directory, and it ran this little process thing that showed me which processes were running on the remote machine, which uh, I'll see the only one that is a .NET process is the guest client. So that's uh, that did exactly what I wanted, and any future session now I can come up here and rather having to transfer the files and point to a directory and 
bring up a command prompt and run it. Now I just go here and click here and I'm instantly running. So that's the kind of thing that the uh, that the custom toolbox can really optimize for you. And uh, we certainly, especially in the, uh, the next uh, couple months, like to hear some feedback on what this can do for you and any changes that we might uh, need to make before, before final release. Uh, thank you for your time and I hope you find this feature to be of value. Thanks.